Tracy now and learn a little bit about gym etiquette, right? Yeah, I was going to say, you'll be able to identify the guy without a shirt there in the snowball fight. <laughs> yeah. And that's one thing you shouldn't do when you go to the gym is go without a shirt. Uh, we all know that when you go to the gym, you have to exercise properly, pace yourself, drink lots of water. But there are a lot of do's and don'ts that bear uh, reminding from time to time that are call, that's called, as Andrew mentioned, gym etiquette. Personal trainer David Sisko has some pointers. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the unspoken rules of the gym. Now, signing up at any gym, obviously, there are rules to follow, but there are certainly unspoken rules as well. My friend Nagy Schechter and myself have come up with some doozies, and one of them is if you're going to compete with somebody on that treadmill next to you, allow yourself no more than two glances per minute, otherwise you're being a little bit too obvious. And the other thing is, once the other person gets off the treadmill and you know you stayed on longer, Allow yourself as many self-satisfying grins as you want. Okay, now another unspoken rule of the gym is simply this. When there's a machine or a piece of equipment that you would like to work in on, it is good form to politely ask to work in. However, it is not good form to ask when somebody is in the middle of bench pressing 400 pounds. Another unspoken rule of the gym is when it comes down to flirting. Now, flirting is perfectly acceptable. However, only as long as the ex receiving party expresses at least a modicum of interest. Once the receiving party says, if you don't leave me alone, I'm going to hit you with the weight, the flirter is obligated to assume the appearance of exercising. That is, at least until the next party is identified. Another unspoken rule of the gym is that it is essential to get good, slow, proper form in order to maximize any set. However, good, slow, proper form does not mean that it should take you 13 minutes to complete only one set. And yet another unspoken rule of the gym, it is essential that when you go into a gym and you're working out that you have a towel to at the very least wipe down the equipment that you've been on. But, after the workout is over, when tossing your towel into to the receptacle, at the end of a workout, one should heed the following guidelines. A, if the towel lands fully into the receptacle, congratulate yourself and proceed to the shower, car, or the juice bar. B, if the towel snags the edge of the receptacle, discreetly adjust your trajectory and flip the towel stylishly into the bin as though you intended it all along as part of your, the game you like to play. Or C, if the towel misses the receptacle and lands on a fellow gym member, well, and said member is smaller than you, apologize and offer to buy him a smoothie. If said member is larger than you, run like heck and find a new gym. So there you have the unspoken rules of the gym, but I'm gonna leave you with a bonus tip. To achieve essential development, proper development that is, between workouts, recovery is really important. However, recovery does not mean six months between workouts. Now you know the rules. Join the gym. Have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> well, that's too bad. Six months between workouts. I, I knew I was missing the one element. Yeah. No, I, uh, that, that was the old me. Six months between workouts. The new me is just completely motivated Seeking. by